Harika and welcome back to a new lesson. Today we are going to learn the difference between very common words that we come across on daily basis. Well, let's have a look at these words here. Live, live, life and lives. Hmm. Now as we all know, English can be quite funny at times. Here these words are spelled in a similar manner and they're pronounced in a similar manner. But guess what? They are used differently. And that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. We are going to learn how to use them correctly. So the very first thing that we are going to look at is the word live. And to explain this, I'm going to look at these sentences here. Uh, I live in France. Peter lives in England. Now, what do you think the word live means? Well, the meaning of the word live is uh, when you are talking about uh, your or someone's place of living. Okay, so it means uh, a place where you are located okay so if you look at the sentence here i live in france so here i'm using the word l-i-v-e which is pronounced as live i live in france that is the place where i live okay that is the place where i am settled another one here is peter lives in England. So again, I am talking about Peter whose place of living is England. And that's exactly the reason why I have used the word L-I-V-E-S which is pronounced as lives. Okay, so hope you got this clear. So again, the word live, okay, place of living, right? Now, the next sentence here. We watched the live coverage of the cricket match. Ooh. Now again, we are going to look at the word which is spelled as L-I-V-E. But guess what? The pronunciation is different. We are not saying live, but we are saying live. And what does that mean? Well, the word live means something which is happening now, being current. Something which is not recorded, okay, it's happening right in your presence. Okay, probably you go for these live music concerts. So yes, like I love going for live concerts. So what does that mean? Well, when I go to live concert, it means that the musicians are playing right in front of me, in my presence. So it's not a recorded version, it is a live performance. And that's exactly the reason why we use the word live, okay? Now it also has another meaning, but before we get to that, let's look at the sentence. We watched the live coverage of the cricket match okay now remember l-i-v-e which is pronounced as live is an adjective and i forgot to mention the word live l-i-v-e is a verb sorry about that so hope you got this clear so here we watch the live coverage, so it means that it was being current, okay? It was not a recorded version. And then there's, as I said, that there's another meaning to the word live, which is, mm, I'll write it down here. It means being alive, okay? Not dead. Now to understand this better, let's look at the sentence here. 
we saw a live rattlesnake. So here we are using the word live, which is again an adjective. We saw a live rattlesnake. So a live rattlesnake, which means a rattlesnake who was alive. He was not dead. Okay, it was not dead. It was alive. So I have used the word live, L-I-V-E. Now here if you see, is that a live wire? Now, you know, why have I used this word live here? Because many times we do come across these wires which are, which pass electric currents. So we call these kind of wires as live wires. So remember the pronunciation, we do not say live wire, we say live wires, okay? which if you touch it you might get a shock so be careful okay so is that a live wire it means that it passes electric current okay so hope this is clear to you now we are going to look at uh, the words life and lives so now let's have a look at the word life that's l-i-f-e pronounced as life and it means the state of living. So I've included this word because many people get confused how to use it right. So if we are going to look at some sentences here, but also remember that the word life is a noun. Okay, so like my life, your life, his life, wonderful life. So, it is a noun. So, if you look at the example here, I love my life. So, the word life means that I really love living, okay? So, the state of living means life. Another one is the stuntman is not showing any signs of life. So, here we have used the word life and what exactly it means is that he is not alive. He's dead. Okay, so this is the way you would use the word life. Now, as I mentioned that the word life is a noun, but it can be also used as an adjective describing a noun. How is that possible? Well, let's look at some examples here. So, when you say lifeguard, okay, so here the word life acts as an adjective. So, lifeguard, lifeboat, life experience, life saver, okay, so here the word life acts as an adjective describing the noun guard boat experience and as i also said life saver so saver is the noun okay so i hope this is clear to you now there's another word that is lives okay so what does that mean well it is the plural form of the word life so lives is the plural of life. So let's look at an example to understand this better. Many people lost their lives in the blast. So because we are talking about many people, so we are using the word lives because it's the plural form of the word life. We are not going to say that many people lost their life in the blast. It is going to be lives. Okay, so hope this is clear to you. Next time you have to use these words, you know how would you pronounce it and when you would use it. So it's live, live, life and lives. Okay, I'll be back with a new lesson. Until then, you take care.